how's it going everyone sitting low just coming at you guys with another video on this beautiful sunny winter day mid michigan here and i was just about to load up the sled and go play on the lake for a few uh, meet up with some friends and go rip around and i figured since i haven't done a video on this i might as well show you this uh homemade sled deck that i made i've made this thing about i don't know three or four years ago and it just works great and the reason i guess i never really made a video on this is because you know if you look around there's probably dozens of youtube videos on people making their own little homemade sled decks and stuff but anyway this is uh my version of it i guess so here's another sled homemade sled deck video and it's really easy and it's really simple to make all it is is just a four by eight sheet of uh treated plywood and i bought two treated uh two by sixes and I ripped them in half and I more or less just made like a pallet if you will and I bought another eight foot one by six and uh, ripped that in half and just made a couple of side banks uh, this is actually an old pickup truck bed liner eight foot truck bed liner that I found for free and I ended up just cutting these strips out of it and uh, this here this snowmobile track I call this the dragon tail this is this is the key to success right here. The dragon tail is what makes it all worthwhile. And I picked this up on a online use for just, I don't know, I think like five or ten bucks. But yeah, um, let me uh, pull this thing out and show you how it works. All right, and this is pretty much it. Extended. I got these straps here, one on each side to kind of, A, keep the ramp from coming back further than I want it to, and to help triangulate the ramp so it doesn't move either side. I made these drop legs down that kind of rest butt up against the tailgate there. And what that does is prevent it from, let's say, if the skis go up on there and if it wanted to, if the if the carbide caught and wanted to push the ramp up, it basically these stoppers here that just kind of flip up and disengage wouldn't allow it to, you know, slide the ramp forward. So that's just kind of a more of a safety thing. And as I explained before, a couple of ski guides made from a old pickup truck bed liner. And the key to success is right here, actually, the, the dragon tail. And the reason I left the dragon tail, uh, you know, way longer than it needs to be is basically right when the skis are about to go up onto this area here, by that time, the track is already pretty much locking into these grooves right here. So without this dragon, without, I keep calling it the dragon trail, but without this track mat here, um, pretty much the skis would probably just maybe go up that far and then it would just start spinning the track but with this extended dragon trail the track locks into it and it just allows it to walk right on up it and once you got it up you know onto the pallet it's, it's just more or less just like a big pallet um, but once it's up on the pallet you more or less just hit the parking brake lift it up and just go ahead and push it right in the bed of the truck so it's actually pretty simple to make and I think uh, between the lumber and just the you know the freebies and screws and glue and whatnot you know I probably got maybe a hundred bucks into it so, you know if you're just wanting to go play out on the ice or something or go ride your sled by yourself for an afternoon you know it's a simple way to do it and you don't have to you know lug a trailer around and worry about you know hooking up lights and this and that and slush from your rear tires getting kicked all over your sled because it's just right there in the bed and an extra bonus is it actually uh, I had to trim it a little bit right there but it actually fits under my toolbox which is cool because when I first made this uh, I didn't have that toolbox in the bed of this truck so I was kind of worried that it wouldn't fit but yeah it fits under the toolbox even so I said I got about 100 bucks into it and I don't know, it took me about two hours to make I'd say the, the worst part of making this thing was 
uh, this old track here. If you can see all these uh, old drive cog lugs, I cut every single one of those off, and there's I don't even remember how many of them there were, but you know, I spent a good hour just cutting them freaking lugs off the thing. But anyway, without further ado, I will show you how it works. Alright guys, now pay close attention to when uh, the skis go right up onto the, start to go up onto the ramp. You'll see that the track has already pretty much bitten into two of the dragon tail bugs. So anyway, just figured I'd point that out. Alright, so it's as simple as that. You can see you just roll the uh, dragon tail up and bungee cord it aside. And hook a strap up to the pallet here so you don't gotta worry about it sliding back or anything like that. And you're pretty much good to go. I'm gonna wrap another strap around the machine obviously, but uh, I just haven't found one yet. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this super simple homemade sled deck deal. And uh, like I said, it only took me about two, three hours to make and it only cost me a hundred bucks. And it sure beats having to drag a trailer around. Um, unloading it, pretty much just reverse the process. Uh, this sled doesn't have reverse on it, so I gotta, you know, tip it back and just pull it off just like you would like old school sled with no reverse. But if you had a sled with reverse, it would just back right off of it, which would be awesome. But, you know. This is the sled I got, this is the sled I love, so I'm going to keep rolling it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for watching.